If you look at me really closely, man, I'm getting like cross-eyed looking at this. Look how crooked my nose is. And look at all those freckles, man. Whoa. There we go. Uh, what was I going to talk about? I actually forgot. I got so caught up in myself and looking at myself with like an extreme selfie. I got it written down here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, the, the video will call, be called something like this. Do you never want to go bald? Do you never want to go bald? Let's talk about that. So we can all argue about the numbers, but let me provide some sort of baseline for us on this. I presented a theory in that basically whatever age you are, that percent of men in America are, have lost a, consider, a considerable amount of hair. So I'm age 36. At least 36% of men my age have lost a considerable amount of hair. That's the, that's the rule of thumb that I go with. So if you're 80, then that means only 20% of the people still have hair. And, but if you're 20 years old, then 80% of the guys still have most of their hair, and then you're the exception. But what I'm trying to do is show you a baseline so that we can see this concept of an exception to the rule uh, when it comes to hair loss. Because as we know, it's like an unlucky lottery, you know? Uh, just like with our height, we're born, we, don't, we have no control over how tall or short we're gonna be, it just happens, it's in our DNA. Same thing happens with hair loss. But, you know, and the last thing we should ever think is, oh, it's not fair, it's not fair that I'm losing my hair sooner than other guys. That's victim mentality, and that's not gonna get you far in life. It's all about accepting your fate, or doing something to try to change it, if, if there is a way to change it. But let's talk about this exception of the rule thing, because what I wanna know, it, do, you, do you want to never go bald? That's really, I, I guess, the question. Do you never wanna go bald? Because that's asking a lot. <laughs> so you're saying you wanna, die in your 80s and still have a full head of hair like Ronald Reagan? Is that what we want here? Or where would we draw the line in the sand and say, okay, as long as I still have a full head of hair until this age. Of course, even then it gets tricky because what's a full head of hair? I'm Norwood 3 with thinning in the front and some in the back. And everybody that knows me thinks that I have a full head of hair. That's their perception of reality. But ultimately, is that, is that your dream just to never lose your hair? Or are you willing to accept the reality that the numbers are against you if you want to be like Ronald Reagan? He, he was the lottery winner. So are you wanting to be like him? Or like, wh where are we talking about? Like Robin Williams? I mean, he died in his early 60s and he was, I don't know, he's probably closer to a Norwood 4 if you really look at it carefully, maybe 3. But either way, like, wh what are you asking of the world here? What are you asking of your DNA? Because you're asking a lot if you never want to go bald. So are you, are you compromising? Are you saying, okay, well, if I could just be like Nick. That's me. If I could just be like Nick and I could at least make it till the time I'm in my mid-30s, still have most of his hair, and be settled in my life, if I could just make it that far, then I would be happy. You know? And if that's the case, then honestly, then I can say then, then my wish came true. Because I just, I wanted to be... And I, I was about to say selfishly, but I don't think there's anything selfish about saying that. That ultimately, I, I wanted to just be settled in life before I had to worry about hair loss. I wanted to worry about hair loss afterwards because I knew it would affect me. I knew I'd be affected by hair loss, but I just wanted to get far enough in life. So if, if, you're, if you're willing to be realistic here with me, which I hope you are, you're, you're going to lose your hair at some point, most likely, unless you're part of that rare demographic that you know, makes it till you, you live a long, healthy life, your early 80s and you still have a full head of hair. If that's you, you're not even watching this video because guys that have zero hair loss aren't the ones watching my videos, right? So what is it, what is it gonna take to make you happy or content? What's that, since you, well, hopefully know that you're, you're gonna go bald, at, at what age, if you could compromise with your DNA or even with God and say, would you at least let me keep my hair until this age? My guess is a lot of you, because most of you are younger than me, my assumption is most of you would say that you just want to make it to where I, where I made it. And so, there you go. Uh, I, and, and if that's not the please let me know. I really want to know. Please leave in the comments, because I want to know your perception of when it's okay to lose your hair. I think most people would agree around my age is it's, it's okay you can, you, to start losing your hair and it not really bother you, not need to bother you. And a lot of you have said that in the comments, but I wanna, I just wanna be sure, 
because this helps me as I'm making these videos to know where you're coming from because as is often expressed that I'm older and have more hair than a lot of you so you know it, there's a little bit of, a, of, of an appearance of a double standard because how can I tell you and encourage you if I haven't been through it at an early age yet I turn that on anyone who says that because I'm saying you're learning lessons sooner than I learned them I didn't have anybody to teach me this stuff I didn't have YouTube YouTube didn't exist when I was your age you know 21 when I really started thinking about this stuff okay so you have advantages to deal with it even though you have the disadvantage of having to go through it sooner I'm not saying it balances itself out but I'm just saying I'm looking at both sides of that but I do want to know seriously will you tell me though at what age will you be okay with with losing your hair because obviously I am I don't care I, um, it's almost like for me okay you guys don't like Metallica do you like I've only had one person like yeah Metallica come on ride the lightning uh, in the song and he's like let's just get this over with like that's how I think about my hairline let's just get this over with let's just do it I don't I don't need to think about this anymore okay okay that's enough about the Metallica but how long are you expecting to keep your hair before just I just want to make sure you're not asking too much of the universe so we agree we agree that you're you're gonna lose your hair at some point but where's that cut off for you what's the finish line for you where are you trying to make it to before finally your hair can go to that scalp in the sky I want to know please tell me